ratio third power. Video 7. Test Taking Techniques Do you have test anxiety? Do you run out of time when taking exams? Do you want to improve your test taking skill? If you have answered yes to any of these questions, then this video is for you. If you have followed the directions in the previous videos, then believe that you have done your best. Keep a positive attitude, luck will be on your side. Brain rule! Too much stress can cause the brain to shut down and inhibit retrieval, so try to stay calm to minimize stress. Ways to minimize stress on exam day. Buy your test supplies like Scantron pencil at least a day before the test and bring them with you. Arrive at school or test site early. Allow extra time for possible traffic or delays. If time permits before the test, find a quiet place and passively look over your notes to build your confidence. If this is not calming, then take a brisk walk or meditate. Try different options to know which will work for you. Do not go to the test site too early because there will be last minute crammers sitting outside stressing out. Avoid them. They will increase your stress. Don't change your daily routine much. Eat and drink as usual. If you normally drink coffee, then continue. Do not start something new. If it is a long test and you need food, then bring a quiet snack as needed. Avoid distracting others with opening wrappers or chewing loudly. Accept that you do not know everything and may have a brain fart. Don't be too hard on yourself. It's okay. Just move on to the next question. Either wear a watch or sit where you can see the clock. Keep track of time. Pace yourself. In many science classes, you have two types of exam. Written tests, usually given in lecture, or practicum, usually given in lab with specimens. Written test. Ideally, you want to write on the actual test to eliminate answers. Write question marks and other notes. If you cannot write on the test, then ask for scratch paper and make notes as you move through the test. After you have decided on your final answers, record your answers on the Scantron in the last 15 minutes of the test. When you erase, the machine may mark you wrong even though you have the right answer. If you cannot write on this test and don't have scratch paper, then lightly record on the Scantron. Circle the number on the Scantron if you skip that question to quickly come back later. Written test, first pass. Go through the test more than once if time permits. First, take a minute to skim through the entire test so that you know the length and topics. Make sure you are not missing any pages. Do not answer any questions yet. Written test first pass logic. A preview and overview of the test make your brain more familiar, more comfortable. Your brain knows what to expect, resulting in less stress. Written test second pass. Go through the test quickly. Do not think. Go with your initial instinct. Always ask for clarification if you are unclear. If you can, circle the correct answers, cross out wrong answers, and underline your best guess. Place question marks next to those you don't know. Written test second pass with short answer format. Outline answers or draw a diagram or picture with keywords without thinking too hard. This will not take too much time. Do not write in complete sentences for now. Do not make things up. Written test second pass logic. Assuming all questions are worth the same, you want to answer all the easy questions first. This will build your confidence, resulting in less stress. Written test. After second pass, if less than 15 minutes is left, transfer your answer to the Scantron. Guess those you don't know if there is no penalty for wrong answers. After the second pass, if more than 15 minutes left, go to the third pass. Third pass, return to those questions that you have skipped, slow down and think. Add more to the short answer if possible. Written test third pass logic. With many or most questions on the test already answered, your brain can slow down and relax. 
Diffuse Learning, see video 3, and other questions may help you to answer the more difficult questions. After the third pass, if less than 15 minutes is left, transfer your answers to Scantron. Guess those you don't know if there's no penalty. After the third pass, if more than 15 minutes is left, go to the fourth pass. Fourth pass, retake the entire test. Change an answer only if you remember something new or if you misread the question. Your first instinct is usually correct. Now, you can write complete sentences for the short answers. Fourth pass logic. Check all your answers to catch simple mistakes. Also, you want to polish your short answers to make them understandable and complete. After the fourth pass, if less than 15 minutes remain, transfer your answers to Scantron. Guess those you don't know if there's no penalty. After the fourth pass, if more than 15 minutes left and you are happy with all your answers, well, then transfer your answers to Scantron. If you are not happy with your answers, then take a little break for diffuse learning, see video 3, to occur, and resume tests after your mini break. Guessing tips if clueless. If there is no penalty for wrong answers, then guess the same answer choice or letter, either C or D, if these are not true-false questions. Do not waste your time guessing different letters. Do not leave anything blank. Guessing on multiple choice questions. Eliminate wrong answers first. If there are two or more similar answers, guess one of these. If there are two opposite answers, guess one of these. Guess the longest answer if it is present. Guessing on true false questions. If there is an extreme word like never, all, or always, then guess false. If you can think of one example to make it false, then guess false. If you run out of time, then guess true. There are usually more true than false answers. Written test submission. Once you have finalized your answers, transfer them to the Scantron. Check all your answers one last time. Now, submit the test and celebrate. You are done. Break time. Hey, I see your brain is fried, so let's take a quick break. Then continue with tips for lab exam, also known as practicum, and more.